if you want to maximize your dollar for dollar return on investment in solar, it may not make sense to go to a 100% full offset system because you may have to pay for more solar panels and produce more electricity than you're actually going to be getting the full price credit for. But if your goal is to get the best dollar for dollar return on your investment, then you may want to target a slightly smaller system, say 60 to 75% electric bill offset, so that the system and, and the, the solar electricity coming off that system is more likely to be directly self-consumed by your home. Meaning, whatever solar is coming off your solar panels, it'll get fed into the house first. The house will get sort of first dibs to directly consume that electricity. So there's not really gonna be a whole lot of excess being sold to or, or traded back and forth with the power company. So definitely something to consider as well.